What? Dude, no way. Dude, why am I not making that? I've made that before, haven't I? Okay, this is seriously starting to piss me off now. Oh, damn, I'm supposed to use the hook shot. Hello everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 65 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And this time I'm just going to skip all the nonsensical blathering and just go straight to the boss. Oh yeah. I wonder who it could be. Maybe it's Darunia. He did manage to make it in without a boss key. I don't know how. But damn. Uh oh. What's happening? Oh god. What's this? The earth is shaking. Oh my god. Something's using earthquake. No. It's super effective because I'm wearing a Goron tunic and I'm in a fiery place. I'm sad. And now I can't go back. There's no going back now. <gasps> oh my god. It's Subterranean Lava Dragon Volvang. That's the dragon everyone's worried about? That skinny ass thing? How's how does that thing eat Gorons? What the hell? Dude, like if you put like five Gorons together, they'd be bigger than that thing. Anyways, basically, this is one glorified game of whack-a-mole. Bam. Look at that. Oh, and you have to slash his face. I forgot that. I kind of forgot that. Sorry. Anyways, um... And then he'll come out. Oh, my God. What's he gonna do? He's gonna come after me. You better just duck. 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 Ha ha. Look at you. You're running in circles, dude. You're running in circles. Chasing your tail? Chasing your tail? Looks like you're ready to nom nom that tail there. Oh yeah. Oh now you're leaving? You're leaving? What am I a party pooper? No, you're the party pooper, dude. You're just no fun. You know what? Let's play some more whack-a-mole. What do you say? Whack-a-mole? Oh, oh you're over here now? Oh god. Yeah. Be careful not to get hit with his hair when he swings it around like that, because that can hurt you. And it's not fun. And now he's gonna send like meteors coming down at us, I think. And what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do when he come for you? And here come the meteors. I can hear them. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my. Ow. Bitch. Yeah. This is pretty much one of the. This I'd say this is the easiest boss of the adult thing. It's, prob it's easier probably than even Baronade. You know the Jabba Jabba boss. Anyways. Um. Oh god. What do you want? What do you want? What you don't claw me. Dragon Claw me. <laughs> awesome. He's a Pokemon. You Pokemon. Just a second, you guys. Alright, you guys. Sorry about that. That was my sister telling me to stop talking. So I turned on the TV in the background, so hopefully she won't be able to hear me now. But, whatever. Yeah, so... But you'll be able to hear the TV, obviously. Just hopefully not too loud. Anyways, let's get back to our whack-a-mole game here. Oh my god, I can't hit him. Wow. I was like walking inside of Volvegia there for a second. That was very odd. And here he comes again. He's probably gonna like sort of circle me again because I'm just gonna duck. Yeah, that's basically the tactic to this: just run and duck and hit and slash and do all the good stuff, you know. Nom nom your tail. Nom nom your tail. Nom 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 nom. Party pooper. You party pooper. And that was basically just a frame by frame repeat of what we just saw like a little while ago okay where are you going where are you going this time you're going right there and don't hit me with your hair don't hit me with that hair you're dead you dragon clawed me again dude oh my oh my god i'm down to four hearts really oh my god he's doing this again dude i'm not supposed to have trouble with volvagia did i call him volvagia oh god oh my, okay i'm gonna i'm gonna drink this milk and you can't stop me bitch that's right. I'm gonna drink both gulps of milk. Because I can. That's right. Just not in one gulp. Because no human being can possibly do that. Just letting you know. And let's get our Megaton Hammer reset. Because it's a crucial, vital element to this fight. God. Without this, you cannot do it. Without this, you'd be too cocky, Star Fox. Yes, don't get too cocky, Star Fox. Okay, hurry up and do your little whack-a-mole thing. Yeah, do that. Smash you in the face! That's right. Is this gonna kill you? Yes, it is. 
Look at that. You are dead in the lava. I was going to say dead in the water. Swim in the fishes. All, why do all the things that have to do with like saying that you're dead have to do with water? Go in Davy Jones's locker. You swim into the fishes. You're dead in the water. Yeah. Bam. You are dead, Volvagia. Hey, I can target your skull. That's kind of funny. Yeah. Just a second again, you guys. Alright, you guys. That was my sister again. She was telling me to quiet down again, so now I have to talk in a whisper. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it has to be. This is my continuity, but we got a heart container. So yeah, bitch, that's my heart container right there. I'm not going to whisper in that weird little voice anymore, because I can just whisper like this. She won't be able to hear me, trust me. But that makes, what, 16 hearts now? Oh yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the top. And if you want to get to the top, you got to rock and roll, you know. Everybody knows that. Or you want to get to the top if you got to rock and roll or something. I even forget that saying, but it's not even a saying, is it? It's part of a song. Whatever. Oh, what's happening here? The volcano. The guy's looking at it. He's going to go, oh, boom, boom, boom. I would have yelled that or something, but my sister would have gotten mad at me. Because she's watching a movie. Telling me to pipe down. I can hear the undertones of your voice. Sisters, seriously. But anyways, yeah, don't worry, you guys. I'm doing, I'm talking quietly now, so it might be a little hard to hear me, but it'll be worth it because I won't get interrupted during this awesome epic scene of Tarunia being the sage. Dude, that's crazy. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you would. By the way, I, the wild Darunia, turned out to be the great sage of fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. And with that, we are going to get our third medallion, which is... You got the ring of, I mean the medallion of fire. Darunia awakens as a sage and adds his power to yours. Oh yeah, we are awesome. And, don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. What, did you find some ancestors or something? I'm going to turn off the TV in the background since you're probably annoyed of hearing that. If you could, very well hear it. Which you might have. But anyways, looks like that's going to be it for this episode. Because this was a boss fight episode strictly, strictly and only. And that's going to be that for this. So I would like to thank everybody for watching. Sorry about my maybe quiet audio for the last part of this video. Blame my sister for that one, sorry. But this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed the fire temple. It was one of my meh temples so far. And good night.